Welcome to the Irresistible You podcast. This is the place to get a dose of empowerment to create the life you crave and deserve. My name is Amy with two E's and I am the CEO and founder of Irresistible University. Through my podcast, I teach women just like you how to ditch the body image issues, gain confidence and lose the emotional weight to look and feel irresistible at any size. Welcome back to the podcast. Today, I am talking to you about why the hell you are hanging on to your old fat clothes. That's right. How many times have you lost weight? Your clothes are now fitting way too big, but you refuse to throw them away or donate them. I know that you have got some clothes hanging in your closet in bigger sizes, in smaller sizes, and everything in between. And I am here today to tell you that it is time to go through your closet and get rid of every single thing that doesn't fit, even the fat clothes. And here's why. Keeping your old... So I've been seeing... The reason I wanted to talk about this is... Um, I had been seeing this a lot in some of the Facebook groups that I'm in, um, you know, where people like some of the weight loss groups around the injections and whatnot. And people are saying, oh, I packed up my old fat clothes and put them in a container or, um, I put them in the back of my closet. I moved them down to the basement. And my reaction to those statements is why are you doing that? Why are you investing the time the energy, the hard work, the money to lose your weight, but then to hang on to the past version of you that you're trying to shed. If you're trying to shed that version of you, then all things need to go along with it, including the clothes. You know, when you are hanging on to your old fat clothes, you are subconsciously telling yourself, this isn't really going to work for me. I'm never really going to get the weight off and keep the weight off. So just in case I gain anything back, I'm going to go ahead and hang on to these clothes as insurance. And right there, you are creating a conflict within yourself. You are creating a conflict of you doing what you said you were going to do, losing your weight, and going into a smaller size, but then you're also telling yourself, "Mm, don't get too cocky, don't get too secure, don't get too comfortable there, because you know what, you're probably going to end up back there again, and if you do, let's make sure we have something to wear so we don't go and waste money on new clothes. You have got to drop those clothes. You don't need them. There is nothing about those clothes, if they are too big and they don't fit, there is nothing about those clothes that you need to hang on to. They have got to go because by keeping them around, it is telling yourself you're, you're going to, you're going to visually see it. You are subconsciously embedding this message into your brain of self doubt and a lack of belief in your own success. You are telling yourself, I don't really think you're going to keep this off. I don't really believe in you. Like, Yeah, you're losing the weight, but you never know. You always gain it back. So let's make sure we hang on to these clothes. If you are truly done being overweight, if you are truly done feeling miserable in your own skin, then why keep anything around that is a reminder of that place? I don't want to keep the fat clothes. Like the moment something becomes too big, I'm ready to get rid of it. I'm ready to let it go. So everybody listening to this, I need you to take a cue from Elsa, okay? And we need to let it go, honey. It needs to go. Stop hanging on to the fat clothes. You you know, keeping those clothes around for you, you know how we talk about the wet blanket here all the time, your your, um, safety net, your wet blanket of shame, your wet blanket of misery, your wet blanket of um, uncomfortable com- comfort, right? That's what those big clothes are a symbol of. They are some kind of safety net and you are implying to yourself that you expect failure. You are telling yourself without telling yourself, 
I expect to fail like I always do. I expect to gain the weight back like I always do. I am telling you right now, as someone who has done this before, the feeling that you will have by getting rid of those clothes once and for all is amazing. It you you actually feel lighter. You feel free. You feel liberated. You feel lighter. I don't want to ever see those clothes again. The clothes that I could wear at 270, 250, I don't ever want to see those clothes again. And if you're still wearing them, you are doing yourself even more of a disservice by wearing clothes that don't fit. And when you're wearing clothes that fit you so big, you're not, you are actually making yourself appear larger. Sometimes we think, oh, baggy clothes, I'm hiding all the rolls. Like, no, you are going to look better when you're wearing clothes that fit you. And don't wait until you get to your goal. Please don't do that either. Like buy a couple of staple pieces that you can wear through the journey as you go down the scale. And I'm a big fan of, Yes, we need to have pants that fit, right? Like get you some jeans that are going to fit you now, even if it's one size down, go buy the jeans. But also, you know, from a budgeting standpoint, find you some clothes that can can grow or I should say shrink that can shrink with you. What do I mean by that? So get you a really good pair of leggings, Okay, get you a good pair of biker shorts. I told you all the story about my saggy ass biker shorts, right? When you're like trans, I call them like like a transition, transition clothes, like those kinds of pants that have the stretch. When your stretchy clothes are getting too big, you know, you're making good progress and you know, you need to size down and you need to go replace that. But looking at things that you can you know, get a couple more sizes out of will help stretch the dollar a little bit more. Um, Think like, um, this is a better example when the weather is colder, but like a, um, a nice like sweater or cardigan that you can throw over a tank, right? Where, you know, you could probably, you know, continue to wear that as you go down the scale, but you want to get rid of the fat clothes and you know what fat clothes are. You know, right now, when I say fat clothes, you have a vision in your head of what they are, what you look like in them and where they are in your house. Get rid of them, drop them. Here's the other thing. Let's say you did gain the weight back in two years from now, three years from now, those clothes are going to be out of style. They're going to be old. They're going to be dated. They have been worn, honey. They need to go. So if you don't get anything else out of this episode, I want you to make a to-do list for yourself to go through your closet, go through your dresser, and let's get rid of the big clothes that no longer fit. Um, and, and here's the thing. Our actions and our behaviors And what we say we're going to do all need to be in alignment. So if I tell myself I'm in it to win it, I'm losing the weight, I'm losing the weight for the last time. That's what you need. Also, I'm losing the weight for the last time, but then I'm hanging on to the just in case fat clothes. Your behaviors, because it's all happening on a subconscious level, your behaviors are going to do things. Your actions are going to do things to self-sabotage you and say, see, I told you you'd wear these clothes again. Don't give yourself an out. Do not give yourself an out. Do not give yourself an opportunity to be able to wear those clothes again. Get them out of the house because you are telling your brain, well, I still have those old clothes left. It's okay. It's okay if my new clothes fit a little bit tight. I'll just go digging through the fat box. No, we're not doing that. We're not digging through a fat box anymore. Take that fat box, get in your car, go to Goodwill, go to Salvation Army, go to the local women's shelter and say goodbye. And it's also like this great exercise in letting go of that version of you that you no longer want to be. Okay. Um, you've got to change your belief in yourself. So here's the other, the other piece to this is that if you're hanging on to the fat clothes, that tells me that you still have work to do around your 
emotional weight, your mental weight, what you are telling yourself about yourself. Because if you are hanging on to those clothes, there is a belief and a thought in your head somewhere that says, this is never going to work long term. So that's what you need to work on. You need to work on that thought. You need to work on that feeling that you have with that thought and reframe it and start thinking something differently to say, you know what? This feels really scary, right? It feels vulnerable. It feels vulnerable to lose all of this weight. I've never successfully kept it off long-term, okay? And it feels really scary to let go of these clothes that I know will fit me if I gain the weight back. It feels really I feel exposed. I feel vulnerable. It's okay to say that to yourself. But that's the thing is you got to say it to yourself in order to make a change and reframe and say it differently. And you can say, listen, like I've never been able to keep the weight off long term. I've always gained it back. I feel really scared about this, but I'm going to keep it off this time. I'm going to lose weight for the last time. I am never going to go back and wear a size 20. I am never going to go back and wear a size 18, a size 16, anything with a damn W attached to the number. I'm not wearing a W ever again. And I know that I'm going to keep it off because I am doing boom, 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 X, Y, and Z and list it out. I am working on myself in these ways. I have changed my habits now to where I now do this, 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 and this. And you got to have that conversation with yourself because if you don't and you keep hanging on to the fat clothes, you have this incongruence in yourself between your thoughts and your actions. And that's not a good place to be. Okay. We've got to build ourselves up. We've got to get into, um, you know, changing the way that we think and feel about ourselves because weight loss is not just about how much weight's going to come off on the scale. A weight loss journey is in a completely it is a complete self-development overhaul of who you are, who you used to be. You're not just shedding the physical pounds. You're not just shedding the fat cells. You're shedding old beliefs. You're shedding old thought patterns. You're shedding old habits. You're shedding old coping mechanisms. You're shedding beliefs, old beliefs about who you thought you were because you never made room for who you're supposed to be. And when you're now making space and you're making room for who you know you're supposed to be, that woman that you crave to be, Your actions, your thoughts, and your feelings all have to be in alignment of what that looks like. And hanging on to old fat clothes when you're losing weight is telling yourself at some point you're gonna fail just like you always do. So you gotta shut that inner fat bitch down and put her in her place. Pack up the fat clothes, put them in the box, get in your car, drive to the thrift store, drive to the shelter and drop them off and don't look back. You're not going backwards. You are going forwards. You are never, ever, ever, ever going to wear those clothes again. Do you hear me? Never. You are never going to fit in those clothes again. Because you now know what to do to not spiral out of control and have the like um, fat amnesia. We have fat amnesia where we're like, I don't know how I gained this weight. Oh my God. I just woke up today and all of a sudden my clothes don't fit. No, you chose to check out. You chose to zombie eat. You chose to zombie walk and not be present in your life. That's how you gained the weight in the first place. So when you now tell yourself, I am now awake, I am making conscious decisions, I am in control, I'm not going backwards because I am now in the zone knowing what I'm doing every single day. I'm not zombie eating and waking up like, uh, what just happened here? I don't know how I keep doing this to myself. You have to change 
everything about your life, not just what you're eating, not just how much you're moving. That is a small piece of this puzzle. You have to change your thoughts. You have to change your feelings. And as a result, you're going to change your actions to have long-term, lifelong weight loss. This is the last time you're going to lose this weight. You're not doing this again. You're not doing this again. You don't need to have insurance in case something goes wrong. Nothing's going to go wrong because you're going to stay in control this time. You're not going to let this thing control you. So let's get rid of the fat clothes. Let's stop giving ourselves this message that we're going to somehow go backwards because we're not. We're not doing that anymore. Okay, I want you wearing clothes that fit. I want you wearing clothes that you feel confident in. I want you wearing clothes that you're not hiding from the world in. I want you wearing clothes that don't have bad memories attached to them. We all have that, right? We have the fat clothes and we have memories of the day we had to go out and buy that size. How many of you can remember that? The day that you had to walk into a plus size section because the clothes never didn't fit you anymore. You have memories of that stupid ass Lane Bryant store. You have memories of having to wear grandma clothes when you're in your 20s. The loud, tacky ass prints, okay? Everybody has that bad memory attached. And why would you want to hang on to something that has all of those negative memories attached to it? So let's shed those beliefs that we have about those memories along with the clothes. It's all got to go. It all has to go in this journey. And it's so, so important. It, it may seem like it's this surface level thing. Oh, it's just clothes. It's just clothes. It's not about the clothes. It is about the message that you are giving yourself about why you're hanging on to those clothes. So that's the first thing I would, what I would ask you to do is I would say, hey, why am I hanging on to these? What do I think is going to happen if I get rid of them? It's not like you're going to get rid of the clothes and you're going to wake up tomorrow, you know, gaining back all your weight. That's not going to happen. That weight gain is only going to happen if you decide to check out. That's it. So get rid of the clothes, go through your closet, and let's just, let's just do it. Let's make space. You have to make space for who you want to become. You have to make space for the woman that you're craving to become. And if you have a vision of yourself that, you know, dress is really cute, dress is sexy, dresses, it feels confident, um, wears clothes that are, you know, um, flattering to her curves, her body at any size, you've got to make room for that. And you can't make room for that when your closet and your brain is full of those memories. We got to make room for the new stuff. So get out there and do it. All right. <laughs> That's going to wrap this episode up for this week. I hope that you are loving the podcast. If you are, please head over to your podcast player of choice and leave a rating and review if that is available. I know Apple Podcasts, which most of you are listening through Apple, um, has that ability. I also recommend um, if you don't have a podcast player that you are currently using, maybe you're listening to this through my website, um, I highly recommend Amazon Music. I have the Amazon Music app. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you have access to this completely free. You just have to download the app. If you're not a member, sign up to become an Amazon Prime member. I have a 30-day free trial down in my show notes. Please check that out. You can keep up with me on social media through Instagram is my main, uh, my main social. I'm at Irresistible Icing. I post a lot of stories over there. And also, I have a podcast discussion group over on Facebook trying to get that baby you know, back up and running again. So we have a place to um, have a bigger discussion with everybody, all the listeners here on the podcast. So on that note, um, I hope you are doing well. Have an amazing week. Until next time, stay irresistible. Bye guys.